I just want to say that we have all come together here just for one mission. Everyone here is qualified to be the next president of this nation. Everyone has great manifestos. Everyone rose for a simple reason that we cannot continue the way we are again in Nigeria. That since independence, we have had the same sort of people ruling over the affairs of this nation. And nothing has changed. If anything, Nigeria is getting poorer and poorer per minute per second. We have been termed one of, one of the poorest nation on the face of the earth. And our constitution says the primary reason for governance is for welfare and for security. We can all see that that has totally broken down presently in Nigeria. We do not have basic amenities. The basic needs of the people are not met. And we here, all of us, men, women, we have gathered together with our different visions, our different aspirations. And we are saying we are going to, you know, create a third force that will push this go present government out of office. <laughs> that we cannot continue this way again and that we have to change the status quo. Nigeria needs a transformational leader. A leader that can relate with the people a leader that will impact the people. You know, one thing positively, one thing um, the leadership of Nigeria, what they always do till date, leadership is about going into the office to serve their belly and their pockets. But I say, we here that have gathered here together, we have come to change the narrative. <laughs> We are saying we don't want leaders that don't care about the people. We want leaders that understand that leadership is about sacrifice. We want leaders that understand that leadership is about service. We want leaders that understand that leadership is for the people. And we want leaders that will be concerned about the people that they have been called to serve. And that is the collective interest that we all have here. And today, history will be made in our nation. We are all dropping our personal ambition to say collectively, we are a new generation of emerging leaders that want to but a new Nigeria. A Nigeria of inclusiveness, where there will be no gender bias. A Nigeria where every Nigerian will be looked onto as equal to the other Nigerian. A Nigeria where we have a national identity where we will all have shared visions, shared values, and shared responsibilities. That we will understand that we have no other Nigeria but this Nigeria that we call our own. And today, I, Elisha Maide, am urging all my supporters out there, every member of my team that came with me here today, that what we are doing here today, that will be witnessed by credible people, that will be with us even when we lock ourselves up to make the final decision of who the consensus candidate is going to be. I will not lie to you. It took so much for the sort of people you are seeing out here to come out to say, we, I, want to be the president of Nigeria. I came out as a woman thinking the role of the woman and the place of the woman in the society has been totally neglected. And that one of the reasons Nigeria is suffering is because we don't have enough representation of women. And most importantly, again, that Nigeria has gone into abject poverty. 
a nation that has over 71, or over 61 percent of the populace, even the number rising to almost 70, living in abject poverty, then we really need to take over and change the status quo. I want all of my people and everybody that believes in me and the vision and the reason why I've come to run to say I want to be the first female president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So please, whomsoever we choose, because we are all credible people here. We've all known each other for the brief time we've been doing these meetings, and we've, we've come to understand each other's heart, each other's passion, and uh, what the commitment we have towards nation building. So I'm going to tell everyone that is with me in this journey that whomsoever emerge, I personally will support that person, provided the person does not veer off from the collective agreement and the reason why we have come together as parts.